Happy Friday, beauties. I hope we're all having an incredible week. I wanted to hop in here today to talk to you about mastering your mindset for success. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Izzy Bradshaw. I had a 10 year corporate property career, um, was a director age 30, kind of shooting star within that company. But when I had my little boy, something just wasn't aligned and it didn't really feel as though it was kind of aligned with my purpose. So I had a complete career change. I retrained as a personal trainer and did that for a little while. I still do do it a little bit, um, but found that wasn't really aligned with kind of what I wanted to do. I felt I wanted a broader impact on broader kind of society and general women and helping them with their health. So that's when I became a wellness influencer. And since then, it's pretty much become my full-time career around the needs of my little boy who is three years old. So the reason why I wanted to talk today about mastering your mindset for success is that I think a lot of the time um, we can kind of move through life and we'll look at certain people and say, oh, well, you know, they're successful because of X, Y, and Z. And, you know, that would never be me because of X, Y, and Z. And um, that was always kind of my approach to looking at people who'd kind of done something out of the box that, you know, wasn't what I was destined for because that would be way too risky and it was better to stay in the corporate box. And actually, I learned the hard way by kind of reaching rock bottom that that wasn't really true at all. And you reach the point where you decide that you are sick of your BS and that actually you're going to grab a hold of your life and take control and realize that actually it is all within your control, no matter what your circumstances. And the reason why I want to talk about that is that personally, like I've become the top UK influencer within a year within the global team that I'm a part of. And the reason for that is not because of my circumstances. In fact, my circumstances have been incredibly testing and difficult, the most testing of my life. When I lost my mum this time last year, um, 13 months ago, but I decided personally that I was going to lean into what I was doing instead of leaning out. And through that, I have one, found more strength than I ever knew possible, more positivity than I could have hoped for given the situation, um, and three, more success than I have ever seen in my life. Um, as an entrepreneur, um, gauging and moving through um, an industry and a field that I have never ever been in before, it's completely out of my comfort zone. And I decided in every step of the way that I was going to choose to lean in, I was going to choose to be successful and I was going to master my own mindset so that I could see that success. And that has taken a huge amount of work and still requires a huge amount of personal growth and development. And that's kind of the one big thing that I will say, if you're going after a big goal and a big dream and you want to have this like incredible success, no matter what it is you're going after, if you don't pour into you and you don't work out kind of your own like personal niggles and self-limiting beliefs and, you know, the way that you um, execute yourself through your life and that's going to take like growing pains, I'll tell you that you won't ever see that success. And, you know, I pour into myself personally every single morning. Um, I listen or read personal development. Um, I focus in on meditation. Um, and that has really, really helped me see success. And yes, um, it has come with a lot of work, a lot of juggling with my little boy. Um, and as the leader of my global team, like, I'm super passionate about telling my guys, like, you genuinely can have whatever you want in life. You just have to get your head in the right space and kind of taking personal responsibility for that. I think we always like to blame others and kind of use it as a scapegoat as to why we're not successful. Oh, it's because of X, it's because of Y. No, it's not. It's because you haven't got over your excuses. And I'm sorry to give you tough love, but I wish someone had given that to me when I was in my corporate career complaining about stuff. I mean, it wasn't really aligned with what I wanted to do, probably why I was complaining so much. So question yourself, are you complaining or saying you can't achieve something? maybe because it's not aligned with what you want to do and therefore actually truly you're never going to be really successful or happy in that career if you're in a corporate box and you're not getting very far it's time to take a look at it and number two if you're an entrepreneur like a lot of us are here on social media if you're not seeing that success you blaming it on something else if you really willing to address those personal issues that we all have um, are you going to let that hold you back from your success? So there's a question. I hope that's been useful, but if you can't find the answer and you're struggling in quotation marks, turn inwards to look at why that is. Don't look outwards and try and place it on something else. So 
we can achieve amazing things through incredibly testing times, believe you me. Um, it just comes down to how badly we want it and how badly we're willing to make a personal change in our lives. So I hope that's been useful. Thank you so much for listening to me. And if you've got any queries about what I've just said, do just reach out. I'm more than happy to share like any resources or anything that are helpful. So take care and have a lovely weekend.